to the KOE Nation for another premium spirits review. I am the devilishly handsome outlaw himself, your king of extreme, Phil KOE, joined by my indomitable broadcast partner, Tony fucking G. Like, share, subscribe. This is going to be an interesting one, to say the least. This is one I've been looking forward to for some time. I was lucky to just stumble upon a bottle of this the other day. And I, yes, the Dalmore Cigar Malt Reserve. An amazing, amazing bottle. Um, the perfect accompaniment to the finest cigars. This single malt is matured in American white oak ex-bourbon casks, Matusalem Olosoro sherry casks, and Cabernet Sauvignon barrels. And Tony, you know my love for red wines. I was going to say, that hits on all the things that you like to brag about. So this is Dalmore be good red wines. Uh, let's see what it says on the back here. Matured initially in American white oak ex-bourbon casks and 30-year-old Methuselah Olosoro sherry butts. So yeah, that's the 30-year-old butts. Okay, okay. This exceptional whiskey is then... The nest in Premier Cru Cabernet Sauvignon barrels to create the perfect accompaniment to the finest cigar. I can barely speak straight because, oh my goodness, yes. Okay. So, um, gotta love the pop. It sounds so nice. Yeah, this is, I've been looking forward to this one. Again, for it looks marvelous. It's all more staple. Hmm. One more. Oh yeah! Wow, yeah. there's like an apple. I was gonna say it's a sweet fruit. It is. It's like a Granny Smith apple. Yeah. It's it's very light in fragrance. You really gotta you gotta get a good. Yeah, stand. compared to like the Portwood. Oh, yeah. Or the uh, fifteen. Yeah, it's this one. Definitely, you gotta dig. You gotta dig a little bit, but it's there. Hmm. It, it's a good flavor, though, on the nose. Now, again, it would accompany a cigar very well. I was going to say, like, I, I can see what they mean just by the just by the nosing, but... Uh, keep your eyes on this space. For yeah, we're going to try, we're gonna try that out for sure. I'm, I'm um, loving that concept. I think we're uh, wasting enough time on the nose here, sir. Fair enough. <sighs> oh, yeah, that Cabernet's there. Oh, Oh my goodness. That's got almost a, a texture and a flavor like a like a nice brandy almost. That's that's I'm getting that probably because of the idea of the cigar pairing, but the texture, the texture with the sweetness reminds me of a brandy. I was about to say, like or you know, like a port, as much as I hate to say, going back to that, just like it's sure. very it's thick. Mm. It's got that red wineish property but like you said like maybe brandy a bit it's it the finish the way the finish hits in the in the back of your mouth and throat i'm i'm absolutely 100 percent on board with trying this with the cigar oh yeah I, I get it now this this opens up your this opens up your throat yeah the finishing note says crushed spices yeah very the spicy palette, yes how it mm. says vanilla ice cream i don't know if i'm getting that yet but that's just what it says on the like box. a vanilla bean yeah, I could see just vanilla, but not necessarily ice cream. But um, mm. it's good. It's damn good. Um, this yeah. this this reminds me more of a, a, a straightforward Scotch. So far on the Dalmore line, I, I think this is a much more traditional Scotch uh, flavoring and blending. Uh, it's a masterful piece. Let's let's dive into the rating okay. because this is intriguing. Four scales, as always. Mm -hmm. We have. Single malt scotch, scotch, brown spirits, and then shelving. So, as a single malt scotch. As a single malt, I'm going to give this four. Four? I, I think it's a, I think it's, I think it's marvelous. Uh, just the flavor is fantastic. It, it feels like a familiar scotch. The nose is nice. The color's beautiful. It's a trusted brand. Uh, you really can't go wrong here. There's nothing bad to say about it. There's nothing I would change. And I, I agree. I think it would pair beautiful with cigar. Hmm. As a single malt, I'm going to give it four and a half. Okay. I, you know, I'm going to be a little more generous okay, with that, you. I fine. really like this stuff. It's uh, nice. It's the very Cabernet nice. pairing 
works for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just yeah. I, I'm I'm loving every bit of that. Okay. As a Scotch, introducing some of the Scotch or just comparing it to all Scotch. Just the Scotch, I will give it a four and a half because this this hits home in every corner for a Scotch. Like you said, like you could introduce somebody with this. Uh, you could, I think this. A little I think this would actually be good on the rocks, and of course, obviously, it pairs with a cigar quite nicely. So this is a Ooh. great, great introduction for Scotch, and I think even the most seasoned Scotch drinker would appreciate would, the hell out of this. It would be great on the rocks, like you said. Richard Patterson would want to slap us for saying that, but um, he'd say something like, "I spent 15 years maturing this whiskey. Now you're going to put ice in it." Uh, but oh my, yeah, it's amazing. Very spicy if you swirl it around. Mm. Um, mm. There's a scotch. I, I'm going to be a little, I'm going to give it 425 as a scotch because oh. I would not start somebody off with this one. Uh, this is for the seasoned connoisseur that really knows their scotch and likes it. Uh, this, and yeah, for somebody that likes to use cigars, somebody that likes to, yeah, this, I mean, 425 as a scotch. Now, as a brown spirit, the infamously hard to please Tony G in this particular category. Three. Yep, three. Three. I'm going with three. Uh, this is, uh, I don't think you could really successfully cocktail this. Not in a good way. Uh, you could probably cook with this to some really successful results, but I think it'd be an absolute waste. And it's, like you said, you know, it's it's not something you're just going to want to pour for someone if they just ask for an out, out there drink, you know, just whatever, pour me whatever. You, you're not going to use this. So three. I'm going to be a lot more generous than you on that regard. Uh, I'm going to stick with 425. A little uh, high, I think, but as I, a I understand. Street, you're right. I wouldn't cocktail it. You're absolutely right, which is why it's not four and a half. I would not cocktail it. I would not cook with it. I would drink this neat, and that's and with a cigar, and that's it. So I'm gonna stick with four two five. Okay. Like I said, a little generous, maybe, but I don't think I'm. And is there any question? Much. Top shelf, top man. Shelf. This is top shelf absolutely. stuff. Uh, the, I have not even Dalmore Twelve is top shelf. Stuff top shelf stuff so i cannot begrudge at all um I, yeah it's very nice it's very very nice oh so mm. folks tony mm. say goodbye to the folk thanks for joining folks this is marvelous all of that being said folks this has been our review of the dalmore cigar malt reserve and cabernet sauvignon partially aged scotch whiskey mm. amazing stuff i would recommend it to any connoisseur of scotch cigars what have you i would recommend it to you folks so i am devilishly handsome outlaw himself your king of extreme phil koe signing off and handing it off folks like share subscribe and we'll see you around the bend folks <laughs>